Hi, I'm Gabe Klein, the author of the forthcoming book Startup City, available October 15th on Island Press. And uh, we are here in my hometown of Washington, D.C. to talk about wonderful improvements like the Pennsylvania Avenue bike lane. So as everybody knows that cares about cities, protected bike facilities are popping up all over the place. They've quadrupled just in the last few years. This is one of the, one of the early ones right here. We're right in between the Capitol and the White House. And um, Earl Blumenauer challenged me to put a bike lane on Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, uh, he's a congressman from Oregon, and he'd wanted one for 10 years. And we looked at the street, and we said, hey, this is where the streetcars used to run. There's nothing here. I asked the mayor, mayor, could we put a bike lane down the middle of Pennsylvania Avenue? Mayor Fenty said, yeah, as long as it's beautiful, and it works. And uh, we did it. There's a great story in the book about how we did it, how we screwed it up a little, how we fixed it. This particular bike lane was the first of its type that I know of in that it's center running. Um, like center running transit, whether it's bus or rail, there's some real advantages. You have an incredible clear point of view of the entire street as a cyclist. Um, you're not at the curbside with people taking rights and, and uh, knocking you off your bike. And um, it's also a beautiful way to see the city. People come from other places or they commute every day and they get to see the Capitol and the White House and all the beautiful sights of Pennsylvania Avenue at human scale from the center of the street. They've made it safer since I left. We put it in, I think, in 2010. And since then, they've put in these little armadillos, which in a place like Pennsylvania Avenue, where people are very sensitive to aesthetics, um, you can't make a lot of changes. So the armadillos are very low profile. But guess what? They keep the taxis and other people from pulling U-turns in the street, which, which was a potential safety problem. And so, you know, somebody like myself might start something, but then you have um, iterations and iterations afterwards. And now, it's as safe as it's ever been. Like the city itself, Pennsylvania Avenue is an ecosystem. And it's constantly evolving and changing. And we as citizens, we as government leaders, advocates, cyclists, we need to be open to that change, tolerant of that change, and facilitate that change. And so this is just another iteration. And someday down the road, it'll change again. Maybe it'll be a, a all biking street 50 years in the future, who knows?